All right, here's the deal. If you guys want to come tonight, I'm going to get all my fire gear on, and I'm going to attempt to do a back to the bow of the barrel with the, all my fire stuff on. And when I'm coming out, if you guys want to just drive down that alley, lights and sirens blaring, I'll come in in the sixth or seventh inning. We're talking 8 o'clock. Here comes Matt Wolf, King Rodeo Clown. With one of the engines from his station here in Oklahoma City driving by the ballpark. He's also a full time Oklahoma City firefighter. We exist to make baseball fun. That's where everything started. So Banana Ball was born. This is Banana Land. Thank you guys for coming up here. Appreciate it. Because I'm Chickasaw Indian, the Chickasaw Media Production crew stopped by to interview me today. Uh, where do all of your athletes come from, Bananas? We've got guys from all over the place. Um, some guys that have played independent ball, some guys that have played affiliate ball. We've even got two players from Oklahoma. So Matt Wolf, who is our rodeo trick clown pitcher. He's got 18 different pitches. He's actually a firefighter here in Oklahoma City. Uh, he, he's one of my best friends, and we get to go on this journey together. And then we've got Joe Lytle, who was playing at OCU uh, for his dad, who's a legendary hitting coach, Keith Lytle. We brought Joe on this year, and uh, he's been phenomenal. He catches for the party animals. Awesome. Yeah. I love being there. Yeah. He's like, missed you guys. Yeah. Played in this place. You know, yeah, you I grew up in this place. I, I coached you. You should throw BP right here, and man. I remember he called me. He goes, well, we're supposed to practice, but it's pouring down rain. I said, so what are you going to do the rest of the day? And he goes, I got to go to dance rehearsal. Yeah. And I started cracking up laughing. Yeah. Dude, of all the things that I ever expected not to hear out of your mouth, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Out here, you can't believe anybody. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this as talented as Matt is, he can't teach a station officer how to juggle. <laughs> and you got to keep him busy. He's like a small child when it comes to that. He has to be doing something. Sometimes, <laughs> too. We got Corporal Jared Bailey on the fryer. We really normally don't like when he cooks, but uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just asking, but we like flavor. Matt does. <laughs> right. I, if I was going to have a a restaurant of my own and be called 12 and under, frozen pizzas and suicides. So yeah, yeah, good stuff. We pick his brain every time he gets back, you know, on um, where he's been and what he's done. So I wish he'd go do more. He, he's not very adventurous, I don't think. I'm my own body and, you know, I don't know how these guys aren't bruised up around here because um, I beat them up regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Being a fireman and, and doing this, it's it's a bit of a challenge. Uh, you know, there's times that I'll get off a 24-hour shift and and jump on an airplane and, and play the next day. Maybe have one day off and back to another 24-hour shift. It's challenging, but we 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 do what we can to make it work. My grandpa's have passed on, but he was a fire chief. Uh, my dad was a firefighter. My great grandpa was a firefighter. So I'm fourth generation firefighter. So I was a catcher at East Central. That's my catching helmet for my senior year. That's the year Tyler coached me. That's where I went to school. <laughs> my grandpa went to school here. My other grandpa coached there. Here's the video from Jesse inviting me to try out. Yeah, so this is my anniversary gift from Megan. Hey, Matt, this is Jesse Cole, the owner of the Savannah Bananas here at our ballpark in Savannah, Georgia. And I've heard a little about you, my friend. I heard you got everything that we are looking for for our world-famous baseball circus team. So I would love to invite you to be a part of our tryout next year. Thanks a lot, Matt. Look forward to seeing you here next year. So, so awesome anniversary present, right? Uh, to get an invite, but I was also skeptical. So I was just like, do they really want me? Is he just is he just saying that, you know, because my wife called and, and asked. <laughs> I mean, I'm not be, not trying to be negative, but it's like <laughs> it's like your mom calling and bragging on you. But from there, we went up to Yukon High School where where Joe Lytle played, and I threw a bullpen, and that's where the original video 
that we sent in came from. This is me and Dad's rodeo clown pants. I said, I better make me some baggies, and I'll make them just like this, but they'll say bananas on them. I knew I had to have something to stand out. I've always loved rodeo. I grew up in the, on a ranch, so it just seemed fitting. They captured this picture right after I got home from the airport from the tryout. So, so <laughs> Megan's gonna cry. I'm just so proud of him, like the courage that it took for him to do it. Cause for so many months he was like, I don't think I'm gonna do it. And then at the last minute, I booked his Airbnb and I was like, you have, you have to go. And then him calling and he was like, babe, I made it. <laughs> and like the disbelief in his voice, but like, I knew he was gonna make it. Like he's incredible. Baseball's uh, a game of failure. One uh, way to look at it is three out of 10 times at, at the plate, if you get a hit, that's pretty good in baseball. And you think of it, that's failing seven out of 10 times. <laughs> it's a hard game, kind of like, kind of like life and kind of like parenting, <laughs> as you can see. Last year after, after tryout, I think I, I bought that flag and, and hung it up, so. But we've been Bananas fans for a long time because we've known Tyler Gillum a long time. Look at that. It don't look much different. We played with each other growing up. We grew up competing against each other in high school. We played at Sulphur and I played at Latta and some of the best baseball memories that I've ever had have happened on that field right there. So it's cool to be back. Me and Wolf are gonna have thousands of people that we grew up with at these two games here. He's in my wedding and um, now we're touring the country <laughs> and it'll be homecoming reunion. And look at this. Look at this bad boy right here, World Tour. Thanks, big, dude. Look big, at this big. stud. I bought us some belt buckles. It says World Tour 2023 on it. His dad was into bull riding, where he was around rodeo somewhat. That's sweet, man. I can't thank you enough for that. You bet, buddy. Love you, dude. Love you. Man. I don't think we ever dreamed something this big, yeah. to be honest with you. I think it brings us back to the core value of, of the game, which is to, to ultimately have a good time. You know, and it's a child's game at heart, I think. We're in uh, Oklahoma City. We're at the Bethany Children's Hospital. They have a, a grand opening for their new uh, youth baseball field. Beautiful facility out here. We're going to help them break it in and uh, just have a good time hanging out and giving back to the community. This is awesome. It's all about the kids. It's going to be fun. You know, walking them through a mini little show because some of these kids um, won't be able to come to a show due to their current situation. into that, phenomenal, phenomenal experience. We can't thank you enough. We are just beyond blessed to have you guys out here, seriously. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys know, like, the impact you guys make is real. It really is real. So. Thanks. Anyways, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. You got to meet a lot of great kids today who are really big fans of Bananas, and it just kind of opens your eyes to how much of an impact we can have on their lives. They all just gravitate towards you, and uh, really fun getting to meet a bunch of new people today, so that was awesome. Feel good to be out here. Who are you rooting for? Bananas or party animals? Party, party animals. animals. Darn right. We're turning Oklahoma pink, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, my dad coached baseball on this field when it was a AAA Rangers. I remember when Joe was four years old, he told me one time, Dad, when I get big, I'm going to play for you. He was an All-American there, and to share the same uniform with him for four years was a dad's dream. That was by far the highlight of my baseball career has been with him, and it still is. I have people ask me all the time, where's your favorite place that you've ever been, wherever Joe's playing ball? I mean, now just experiencing banana ball and the impact that we get to have is just 
unmatched than anything I could ever compare it to. My dad's about to walk in here. My dad's never seen me coach a game, so I've been coaching for 13 years. True story, background story. You know, my dad's struggled and uh, staying out of trouble a little bit, and so um, he's on house arrest right now. So the city let him come up here and hang out, get this experience. What's up, Daddy? How y'all doing? Look at those kids. You guys are about to see this sucker sold out right here. Yeah, <laughs> them girls yeah. in the office, you know, where I've been going to court at, yeah, they are so upset. They're they? jealous? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Bring your hard hat and your party hat and your dancing hat. Big it's going to be a right? show. Shoot. <laughs> Jesse, this is my dad, oh, Wayne Gillum. What a pleasure. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if real. you guys got to see each other at the wedding. Jesse was at the wedding, yes. uh, but he was sick. So I was in a room mostly at night. Yeah. It was not alcohol induced. <laughs> so. Here, give me a hug. Love you. He's a third. Here comes the kids. His girl gets slides in. <laughs> What's up, brother? Good to see you. Thank you all for coming through. Boom, 66. Got it. Come on. What a time. Man, look at this yes. crew. Awesome. Yeah. Dusty. It's all over Oklahoma. It's all over Oklahoma. Born and bred, I know. <laughs> 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 right? right? You bet. Thanks yeah. for coming. Hey, man. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, so. great. Yeah. Oklahoma City. It's game time. the wildest thing ever. We've got like half of my hometown here. People I play college ball with, family, friends. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. What's up, Jim? A lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people I'd like to see. I just don't. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to do it. So we'll see a few here in a little bit too. So got to get ready to play now. <laughs> It's just so crazy being back here and actually getting to play on this field that they played on. Like, uh, it's like a real full circle moment for me. That's crazy. That's packed. That's wild. I'm excited. This is going to be so sick. I've seen so many games in this stadium. You know, this was always one of those fields that you always wanted to play on, and I never had the chance to. And so here we are. It's around the great game of banana ball. So it's special. Best friend's little boy, and then the home run hitter is my best friend's little girl. Here we are, here we are. Can you believe it? Packed house, baby. Let's do it. Packed house. Let's put on a show. Let's do it. Let's do it. Love you, dude. Love you too. Welcome in to game 37 of the 2023 Banana Ball World Tour. Loved by our good friends over at Zappos. Between the legs. Oh my goodness, what a throw between the legs. Hey, you pulled it out, baby. Yeah. I'm so glad that happened, right, man. Right, that was right. legit. Let's go, baby. It's that a mile high. Matt Wolf makes the call. Nice round of applause for the hometown kid. Now two down for Jill Lytle, our man just up in the booth with us. Good thing we let him go. Cartwheel loses the ball. Is the first trick play missed in five attempts. Simon Crux. So damn exciting. I know. Right? This Dude, look at everybody. Man. It's always so damn exciting. This one lifted Come to shallow on, left. Come on, Come somebody catch the ball. Out, makes the call. Catch and the, the ball. Yes, yeah. let's go, Mauro. Oh, we did it. Let's go, baby. Hold down, baby. Happy Hulk. Happy Hulk. Happy Hulk. Happy Hulk. Happy Hulk. Happy Hulk. Someone is calling me, and I don't know why. I need to tell them to stop it. Who is it? It's my dad. Oh, it's a joke. 
Dad. 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 Where are you? Go. And now you tell this camera right here that how you coach me and how you taught me all these fundamentals. I didn't teach him anything. <laughs> We used to hide in our hedges and s with a squirt gun on Halloween and squirt our trick-or-treaters. Oh, he was a two. He was a two. What did my dad think? I don't know. You got to ask him. I haven't even got to talk to him yet. <laughs> you know, for an old school guy, that was a brand of baseball I never thought I'd see in my life, but it was exciting and it was invigorating, and I loved watching the crowd. That, that I kept turning around because we were sitting in the front row. And, and you know what? The, this is the funnest he's ever had in his life, ever. I know that, and as a father, that's all that matters to me. I'm, I'm proud of him, with or without the two team. <laughs> that's it. And my dad, he had to go back home. They had curfew, but I talked to him on the phone, though. He's jacked up. They just said, man, this is the coolest thing. Just proud of you, and you know, it'll be one of those never forget moments that I'll have the rest of my life. She won me tickets. I just wanted to have a good time and forget everything that's going on at work and at home. And the bananas is a great way to do that on our 30, what? 32nd. 30 32nd 30 anniversary. <laughs> Let's get it started. Um, we have a guest with us tonight, Jocelyn Allo. One of the best softball players of all time. She hit 550 last year in college. Every little girl that sees her tonight, they're, they're gonna lose their mind. Shane Victorino FaceTimed me yeah. last last week, and he was like, I had so much fun playing. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I'm freaking pumped. He got up there. He's, he was all so nervous. nervous all oh, day. I'm kind of nervous, too. No, man, this is all fun. Let's go. Let's go. We got something special <laughs> in the works here. So, uh, Hawaiian heritage. Yes. Okay. And then it's got the bananas on both sides. So all the and other. And the flower. Got your number. Right got your here. flower. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need that picture right there. <laughs> so we got everything you need, batting gloves, headband, arm sleeves, anything. It's going to be ready. <laughs> We are live from the capital of the Sooner State, the big friendly Oklahoma City. Jesse Cole and company fired up for the second of two games here in OKC. We got to it too. We obviously both had dreams of playing baseball and on a high level. He says your dreams won't chase you back. <laughs> it's almost like I didn't really want to chase this dream. So it, it's almost like it chased me uh, for some reason, but uh, we're not always in control. So uh, I'm blessed to be here. That was legit, man. That was one of my favorite moments ever on a baseball field right there. That was so special. Oh man, I love her so much. She kicked its ass right there. It was really cool. Joe for one on the day. A ground out and an RBI sprint. Lines that one through the left side. On a couple hops, it gets to the outfield. Michael Deeb will send it in. Here comes Matt Wolf. Ching. Rodeo Clown. Wolfie takes the bump. The MPI of three minutes and 57 seconds. Averages fifth best on the tour. And you know he is so excited to bring some of his trick pitches out here in front of the OKC fans. <laughs> Matt Wolf doing a little Houdini act out there. 
And a backdoor bender for Matt Wolf. Raise the outside corner. talk about a living legend over 10,000 folks absolutely ravenous that one squibbed down the first baseline cue ball will stay foul and ahead in the count three and one Jocelyn out of Halua Hawaii payoff pitch Cut on and missed. Nasty sinker down below the knees. I think she's a little nervous, even though she's played in every huge game possible. It's hard, that sidearm is tough, you know, and there's a lot of movement going on. To be in front of a big crowd again and to have a different environment is insane. It just brings a whole new excitement to the game, and they're doing it. the middle, Tucker can't grab it. Baber in defense, over to first, picked by Swan. Party Animals win a thriller, four to three. And the Party Animals continue to battle back, as only a team of this caliber can. On your arm. Thank you. I do remember Christian, he's one of my favorite players. He's your uncle, he's a good dude. <laughs> Ready and action. You lollygag doing hey baby. You know what that makes you? Viro. Lollygaggers. Lollygaggers. And the good folks of the Tar Heel State have brought the energy. And I went big and it wound up, I think, overloading the circuits and, and blew out the sound in the entire stadium. Yeah, so I dove into second base, the dirt, and it was all bloody, and I'm like, something happened here. 